Uh, let's go back to Gene Casares, who's in Las Vegas with eyewitnesses to that shooting. Gene. We really do have Corinne and Taylor, and they were at the Country Western concert, and you were right near the front. Corinne, what just started happening? Um, they started shooting, and everyone stayed down. And as soon as uh, everyone started to get up to run, they just kept shooting. And it's like literally like five minutes of just shooting, and people just kept dropping. And it's definitely someone on the ground, definitely, most definitely. The way they heard it, the crowd, and all of us, and then they kept coming. They even came into the part, the back staff parking lot and shot people out, out there, too. So it, they just kept coming, and I hope they get them. And what was the reaction, Taylor, as this started happening? Uh, initially, you thought it was fireworks, um, but then uh, right after the fireworks, they turned the lights on, and uh, about five feet from me, you could see a guy with a bullet wound right in his neck, emotionless, and from there on in, it was just, you know, people just started dropping like flies. Now, Corinne, as you guys started dropping to try to, to save your life, you got injured, and we do want to show people well, actually, Corinna, with I, your I, permission. Oh yeah, with my permission. Um, actually, I didn't really get injured like that. I have a scratch here, a scratch here, and a scratch here from hopping over. This is all other people's blood. This is all uh, blood splatter from people being dead and us having to be on top of them basically to get out. We had to. Everyone had to fall on top of each other, whether they were alive or not. Basically, it's just to stay down because every time people got up. They just started shooting, shooting, and it, and it wasn't like, blah, it was like, just kept, going. It kept how, going. How long do you think it went, Taylor? Felt longer than 30 minutes, but it must have been at least 10 minutes. Um, it was just, uh, you know, it must have been drums, because he must have had 300 rounds, at least, because uh, he just kept firing and firing. I assume he just, he didn't uh, stop firing, because his, I'm sure the muzzle is getting hot, but every time it stopped, then he'd continue, and uh, we just kept having to drop for about five minutes straight, hurdle over uh, all the gates. It didn't matter about, you know, who, what security guards or where. Everyone was, it was just fight or flight. And Taylor, just to show people what you went through, you yeah. lost your shoe. Yeah, I lost my shoe uh, um, when someone fell down to get cover over me. Uh, I have someone's blood right here and also on my chest. Um, There's a lot of but, really, uh, uh, a lot of really good people holding people, uh, holding their wounds shut trying to help them while they were yeah. while everybody was just ducked down it was even loved ones just piles of blood and yeah. leaning over you know people I, I don't I hope they're okay but uh, you know shoes missing is a shoe but at least I have my life and you guys live right here in Las Vegas you obviously nothing has happened ever like this before oh, no. No, this is this is crazy. I, I really hope that they get some sort of policy, not just Vegas, everywhere, some kind of policy to where when this stuff happens, there's someone right there. How how much they shot, how 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 much shooting was going on, and them not being taken down. It, and and like I said, there's definitely someone on the ground. Uh, Did you have definitely. any friends at this concert? Is there anyone that you don't know what has happened to them at this point? Uh, no, but I do know a lot of people that escaped with us have friends that have been shot and they left them behind because, you know, it's fight or flight. You can't really, you know, take people with you and stuff like that. Um, and especially in a situation like that, you, couldn't stay you don't know what to do. Coming. They kept coming. That was the thing. They, it wasn't that, okay, let's all leave and now it's okay. No, we all started running and they came in. That's why there's no physically human possible physically humanly possible way that that guy that was the only shooter if you were where we were and how we were hidden and the way they came in and herded us all out out into the staff parking lot and then continued shooting into the staff parking lot the las so vegas it, police it, department is saying that they do believe that it is just one person at this point but they believe that it came from the 32nd floor across could you tell it was coming from the mandalay bay definitely the the way there was a lot of headshots so the way a lot of people got headshots and it was, yeah, like the guy, uh, you know, right, right. here. Yeah, it, we're gonna it we're gonna wind it right there, but as you can see, the the traumatic aspect of this to people that really uh, uh, fought for their lives to get away from the scene, obviously injured too, but not to the extent of the victims and the fatalities. Christine, Greg, hey, Jean, thank you Dave. so much. And you know, police are saying it was one shooter, the shooter not down there in the crowd, but up on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay, and that's where they engaged him and shot and killed him. All right, many of you just waking up, we want to reset this breaking news. There was a shooting at the Jason Aldean concert in Las Vegas at the Las Vegas Village, a concert of more than 30,000.